Good evening everyone, this is Bremster and tonight I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Thermo 1 by Fake Ginger 21. This is a puzzle from the Sudoku U series and this puzzle in specifically came from a student, I believe, or in Zeta Math's Art of Sudoku class. So um, really cool to have Sudoku U going multi-campus. Um, I believe feelers are going out to try and possibly get some other um, classes involved as well. I'm not sure how many Sudoku classes there are out there, but that would be really cool. So, But it, even if it ends up staying with the two, that would be phenomenal. I mean, I think this is a really cool series. Um, I mean, you guys are just getting good puzzles um, from a different source. I love doing these little series. So um, yeah, good fun. So anyway, let's have a look at Thermo 1 by Fake Ginger 21, as opposed to real ginger? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. And then we've got thermos. So digits on thermos are strictly increasing from the bulb to the tip. So this digit is higher than this, this digit is higher than this, this digit is higher than this as we go along. This one's going to be a little interesting, I think, because not a lot of long thermos and not a lot of given digits. So I'll restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now I can see that nine must be in one of these because you can never put nine partway along a thermo. Similarly, nine must be in one of those two. So nine is in one of, so nine can't be in any of those. So nine is in one of those four. That's not it. Is it one in this box? One is in one of those or am I looking at rows and columns? I don't want to just pencil mark all of the thermos just yet, because chaining thermos, I find really ear. Um, now, one is in one of those four. I don't... So what's... Maybe it is about maximums, because I have to put seven, eight, and nine into this box. Yeah, this box, because I can't put... this. The maximum this could be is six, with six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm not putting seven, eight, nine into any of those cells. I'm not putting seven, eight, nine here. Now, nine, eight, seven, the maximum this could be is seven. So I can't put seven, eight, nine in it to any of those. So this is a seven, eight, nine triple, but the maximum that could be is seven, eight, nine. So that is completely forced as to a seven with an eight, nine pair. That is interesting. And I wonder if I can replicate that somewhere else, but that's interesting. So these are one, two, four, five, and six, but that's not as useful. Although it doesn't, this not eight, nine here makes this maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four, maximum two, because there's no three possible. So this is two and one. This is four. And this is five, six, and seven. That's amazing. And these are now five and six. And because they're on a thermo, we know the order. That's amazingly cool. Three is now here. And actually, that three was placed right at the beginning. I could have placed that three as the very first digit, because where did three go in this box? Because three couldn't go that far along a thermo, three couldn't go in a column, three couldn't go that far along the thermo, that was a three. And these are one, two, and four. That is stunning. And now these are triples. One, two, four. These are five, six, and seven. And these are three eight and nine. Well, that can't be a nine and it can't be a three because it has to be higher than that. So this is eight and nine. Oh, this is cool. No, no, eight comes out of there. And this is now resolved because this is automatically higher than that, but there's no two there. That's cool. That takes nine out of those. And I wonder if this is going to have a chain effect along, along the, the, the grid, because now this is under pressure because I've only got six digits to play with. So this is maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum four, but only two and four are possible. So this has to be higher than two. So it's four or six only. Then this is higher than four. So it's six or seven only. Then this is seven or eight, eight or nine. That's weird. And whichever digit isn't on this goes there. That's really weird. I 
I'm now questioning everything I know about some of these boxes. Do I pencil mark this entire thermo? Because there's a lot of digits looking at them. Because this is maximum eight. This is maximum six, because it can't be seven. Maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. This isn't maximum two, because it can't be two. This is one. This is two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, eight. But these are down to single values, which is weird. But that puts one in one of those three. I... So where's two in this column? That's the question to ask. Two can't go up here. Two can't go more than two cells along a thermo, and two can't go more than two cells. That's been a two from the very beginning. So now two is in these cells, but that can't be lower. That If that was a two, that'd have to be a one, and it can't be. So that is the two, which is reducing this even further. <laughs> but... Nine in this row, which is the most useless digit to place on the thermo, but I'm about to do it because I can't put nine in here. I can't put nine partway along a thermo and that's seen by a nine. So this is a nine. And this is from four, six, seven or eight, but it still could be any of them. <laughs> There'll be a real nice trick to this puzzle that I have not seen. It's... This could be eight if that's nine, I think. So eight is in one of those three cells. So nine is not in any of those, but it could be in any of those three. Am I talking nine or eight here? No, nine can't be there. Nine is in one of those three. Eight could be in any of those, I think. This is very, very strange. And the chains on these thermos have actually been quite gentle, which is cool. So this is a maximum of eight. This is a maximum of six, because it can't be seven. So this is maximum five, four, and three. So this is one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, seven, eight, because it can't be six. Two in this box is in one of those. But that could be a one. Oh, there's no two up here. So that's not two. So that's not two. But that doesn't change this. Except that can't be three. That can't be four. That can't be five. So it actually does change this. giving me a five, six pair. So surely that's pressured that down because if this wasn't an eight or a nine, it would have to be four, three, two, one, which is broken because it couldn't be five, six, seven. So if this isn't eight or nine, it skips five, six, seven, becomes four, three, two, one, and, and these cells and, and three and one would be in the box breaking this. So this is eight or nine. Which means this now. Wait a minute, I've got two of seven, eight, nine. So this can't even be set. 
that's pushed the maximum of this way down. So this is maximum nine, but this is now maximum six. If this was even seven, seven, nine, these would both be eight. The maximum here now is six. So the maximum here is five and the maximum here is four. So this is one, three, four, two, three, four, two, no, this is one or three because I don't have five available. So the maximum of this is pushed down. Two, three, four, three, four, six, and this is lots of stuff. Four, five, six, seven, nine. But this can't be a four, because this would be four, three, two, one, and that would have no fill. It can't be four. Five. If this was five, all of those digits would be lower than four, and that doesn't work. This can't even be five. This is six, seven, or nine. Because if this is five, that would have to be lower than five, and all five of those digits would be lower than five. That doesn't oh it couldn't be five anyway because of that. So that's a one, two, three, four quadruple. So that's a six. And this is a seven, nine pair. So that's a seven, eight, nine triple. And we know the seven is in there. The eight is in one of those two. And that's not a nine anymore. Oh, I had nine pointing down here. That was never nine. That was... A fatuous and idiotic pencil mark. Okay. So I've got to put a 789 in here without being a 7. Six isn't on this thermo. That's weird that it... I can put, oh, the six makes this five, which makes this four, which makes this three, which makes this one. That one takes one out of there. The three makes that nine and that three. The four makes that one, which takes one out of there. The five makes that six, which takes six out of there. This is weird. I like it. I like weird. So they're, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three, four, but I don't know what to do with that. I can. What am I doing with that? I definitely feel like I'm now just down to tricky Sudoku, but this is four, six, seven, or eight. That one, two, three, four quad is. So that digit is one of those three. Oh, nine looks down. That's the seven. So that's the nine. So that's the eight. That's the seven. That is not the eight. This is an eight, nine pair. Scanning for the win. So the six makes that the four. So this is maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, but it can't be one, three or four. So this is two or five, can't be three, four. So this is five or six, this is six or seven. Oh, there's no six. So that's seven, five, two. And this is a six, which takes six out of there. That's a four. This has to be higher than four, which it is. I'd already resolved that we knew what that was. There must be a three in one of these two. These are three, five, and seven. Okay, this is a known pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. And there's a six here. So that's the eight, that's the six, which makes that the nine and that the eight. This is six, seven, or eight now. So it's six or eight because it sees a seven. 
Oh, the six makes that seven, that eight, that six. This is cool. Do I want to do this triple? One, three, nine. There's no nine there. There's no one or nine there. That's the three. That's the one. That's the nine. These are now one and five. And I've got a one. So five, one. These are two, three, four. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two, three, four. There's no three there. Three, four. No, this can't be a three because this would be three, four, and that would be broken. That's the one. So there's no one there. That's been there for a while as well. So these are pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seven makes that the four and that the seven. One, two, three, and five go into those by scanning. Seven looks up making seven out of there. So I've got a three, five in the column as well. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, six, and nine go in. Well, there's no six in those. So that's the six. But this is a four, nine, making this the five and this the three. So these are known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, and eight. And I've got an eight, making that the two and that the eight, taking two out of there. The one takes one out of there. The two, four pair makes that the one. There's something in this row that I can take. The nine makes that the four and that the nine. The four looks back, making that the two and that the four. The two and the four look over, making that the three, taking three out of there. But the four looks over, making that the two and that the four. <laughs> The nine, of course, makes that the eight and that the nine. When there's so much stuff to scan, like the fact that I don't scan in the same order as a viewer, that, that's fine. I have no problem with that. The seven makes that the eight, of course. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That takes five out of these, so three and seven. These are one and four, and I'll use that four to make that the one and that the four. Uh, the five looks down, making that the three and that the five. The five looks across, making that the seven and that the five. Beautiful puzzle, 1545. That's an amazing coffee break level thermo puzzle. With so few thermos in the grid, just elegantly placed, um, the stuff that's kicked it off in box nine, just really, really nice. And of course, I could have placed that three right at the beginning, but I explored the stuff down here, finding the eight nines. Really nice min-maxing Sudoku and then pointing stuff without having to do long Sudoku chains. I've tried to set a lot of thermo puzzles. So Fake Ginger 21, amazingly well done. I've tried to set a lot of thermo puzzles and the amount of time it just comes down to if this, then this, then this, then this, which forces this, then this, then this, then this, and that eliminates a digit is, and they just become frustrating. A lot of people like them and I get it, but they are, I don't find them elegant. This was elegant. Beautifully done. Thank you. Thank you so much for being part of this. Um, hope you're enjoying the Sudoku U-series as much as I am. And as always, good luck with your solving.